I'm presenting number 12 from assignment number 9, where we take a golden rectangle and attach a square to the longer side to create a new larger rectangle. And we want to see if this will give us a golden rectangle. If we just look at the decimals, the original triangle, which is this triangle down here, would give us um, our ratio of 1.618 to 1. And um, we're going to add to that a square, this should say, of side length 1.618, and it would look like this. So our, if we use um, exact numbers, this would be 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And this side over here would end up being 1 plus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And um, that's the same as 2 over 2 plus 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is actually a length of 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So on our new triangle, our new length is 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And um, our width is the 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So we have a new ratio of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So if we simplify this to see if we end up with a golden ratio or end up with phi, we would divide <clears throat> 3 square root of 5 over 2 by 1 square root of 5 over 2. And the 2's are going to um, cancel out, and we'll end up with 3 plus the square root of 5 over 1 plus the square root of 5. And so to simplify this further, we need to multiply the denominator by the conjugate. So we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom of this by 1 minus the square root of 5. And on the top, we will get <clears throat> excuse me, 3 minus um, 3 square root of 5 plus the square root of 5, and then minus 5, 4 square root of 5 times square root of 5. And then on the bottom, we will get 1 plus the square root of 5 minus the square root of 5 minus 5. So when we simplify and combine our like terms up here, we end up uh, in the middle. End up with 3 minus 2 square root of 5 minus 5. And on the bottom, we end up with these terms canceling each other out. And 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So when we finish simplifying the top, we get 3 minus 5 is negative 2 minus 2 square root of 5 over negative 4. And if we divide all of these terms by negative 2, we end up with 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this shows us that we do um, have our ratio of phi still, or phi over 1. <clears throat> um, you can also do this in decimals. The decimals on that side would be 1 plus um, 1.618 to the 1.618 down here. And when you divide that, you still get 1.618. So that um, new triangle was a golden rectangle, or gold, that new rectangle was a golden rectangle also. So if we expand it once again, um, we are going to <clears throat> add another square onto the triangle that we had above. And so this square is going to be the width of 1.618 plus 1 um, going both directions, or our 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Um, so this is 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So when I add these two lengths together, this um, we get this decimal, but the exact number would be 4 plus 2 square root of 5 over 2. And when we divide everything by 2, we get 2 plus the square root of 5 is our new length. And then this width over here is the same thing as this one down here, is 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So my new ratio in the exact numbers is 2 plus the square root of 5 to 3 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And so when we divide these two um, we end up with 
um, 2 plus 5 times 2, or sorry, 2 plus square root of 5, plus, uh, times 2 over 3 plus the square root of 5. And so if we just multiply this on the top, we have 4 plus the square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5. Oops. So that will be 4 plus 2 square root of 5. And I multiply the 2 through the, this on the top. And the bottom will still be 3 plus the square root of 5. Okay, so to reduce this one again, we multiply by the conjugate, conjugate of the denominator. And when I simplify um, the top, I'm going to get, or when I multiply through on the top, I'm going to get 12 plus 6 square root of 5 minus 4 square root of 5 minus 10. And on the bottom, I will get 9 uh, minus 5 because it's square root of 5. So middle terms will cancel out. And this one, when I uh, combine all my like terms, I get 2 minus 2 square root of 5, or I'm sorry, plus 2 square root of 5, all over 4. And again, we divide everything by 2, and we get 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this, um, which is phi again, so this shows us that if we take another larger golden rectangle and add a square to it, and we keep doing this infinitely, we'll also have another golden rectangle because the proportions remain the same when I do that.